Well, hello, Mount Zion. I want to invite you to a day of remembrance. That's right. We're calling the city, the county, the state to have a day of remembrance on uh, Tuesday, March 15th for at 12 o'clock and at 6 o'clock and at uh, 7 o'clock. That's right. Three times we're going to call for a day of remembrance. You know, in honor of those whose lives were lost and impacted during the coronavirus pandemic, the Greater Cleveland's faith community, uh, along with Mayor Justin M. Bibbs, uh, the mayor of the city of Cleveland, and also the Cuyahoga County Executive, Armin Budish, we've come together and other leaders in hospitals and other kinds of institutions to take part in a day of remembrance and what we're calling a day of remembrance and resilience. That's right. This day is to reflect on the second year anniversary of the pandemic that changed an entire globe, including our particular area. It is a day to remember the loss and the impact of this pandemic and to be resilient about our frontline heroes and survivors during this pandemic. It is a day to honor our comeback city. That's right. That's who we are, a comeback city. And so in order to do so, uh, we're going to call for a day of remembrance. And so we want you, your family, your loved ones, your friends, your colleagues, to share in this uh, particular day of remembrance, especially if they have survived the uh, pandemic. So at 12 noon, all uh, faith-based institutions, religious organizations are asked to leave their doors open so that people can come in and pray and light candles and take a moment to reflect upon the goodness that God has given to us even in the midst of it all. And then at 6 o'clock p.m. at dusk, the ask is for all buildings and all bridges. They're going to be uh, lit up downtown in amber color to display or display an image of a candle to show solidarity to the city as a resilient city against the virus. In addition to this, the ask is for all residents and neighborhood businesses to display a light, perhaps a candle a battery light or amber light to show solidarity and to walk outside and take a moment of reflection if they can. At 6.09, the ask is this, to turn lights out or lower lights for 60 seconds. This pause is to take a moment of reflection on this pandemic and the years it has dominated our city. That's right. And at 6.10 p.m., the lights will come on and be displayed for the remainder of the evening. And we ask that people turn on a light a wave, a light, a flashlight to symbolize that we are moving from darkness in to light. And then down at the uh, music hall downtown, right across from City Hall, we're going to have an evening service where all people who have dealt with this uh, 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 coronavirus and all people uh, who have relatives who have lost it, we're going to have a kind of remembrance celebration service at the music hall, no cost, 7 o'clock p.m., Hope you will begin sharing this and there'll be further information coming out soon about this marvelous, marvelous day of remembrance on Tuesday, March 15th at 12 o'clock noon, 6 o'clock, and at 7 o'clock. Music hall, no calls. Or if you can't make it down there, it will be on Zoom, hopefully. God bless. Have a great day.